Yes, yes, good evening fellow Groove Riders. Will from Will's Electrical Services nearly falling over the shop. So what we're gonna do in this week's episode is we're gonna have a look at, we've got a few tests that, uh, to do this week, but uh, this one is a very classic one of Stevenage sort of old houses. Stevenage is a new town. These houses are about 50, 60, 70 years old. Uh, you live in one very similar to this episode, don't yeah, you? Yeah. And I'll quickly show you and we just have a quick look and I'll give you some visual inspections before we even, we ain't even got the tester out there well. We've unpacked it, so we've got that. But we'll have a look. Well, one of the few things we always suspicious of is that there's no, not gonna be any earths or anything like that. You can see, you can physically see outside that there is the, uh, the, the, the see where the gas bonding comes from there, it's clipped underneath the step, step in it for the water. So I suspect the water must be in here. I think this house is actually to be sold. Don't show them the sign, but this house is to be sold. So I'm pretty sure that that, that water comes through to there. What we have to do is disconnect that, disconnect that, and then obviously go from that. One of the few problems what we're looking at is why it isn't after. You can have a look at this switch here, Ebs. See that there? So it's got the triple upstairs. So that hasn't got borrowed neutral, that because normally they link that link that out there for a borrowed neutral. But one of the few problems we have got is put a metal light fit in there, metal light fit in there, metal light fit in there. The other observations you're gonna get from this is none of, nothing's gonna be, nothing, there's no RCD whatsoever, is there? So none of the sockets be, could be used outside, inside, or any of the circuits buried 50 mil or less within the wiring zone and stuff like that. And there's bits and bobs like that. You've got a 40 mil breaker there which is always going to be a uh, 40 mil break there. You'll probably find that's on a six mil buried because obviously it's buried, isn't it? You know what I mean? And I think the maximum for a buried six mil is 32 amps, but we quickly go through it all. We'll have a quick look, yeah? But this is a very typical one. We was funny enough, we were talking about it when we were saying that it was going to be a rewire and they said it was only four circuits and I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, right, let's roll the beats and let's get into it. We're going to be at a few tests, so it won't just be here. Bosh. You can do us a massive favour, support the channel, like, follow, and flip with a bean. Bosh. Helps the channel. Great. Oh. Right, so uh, welcome back. We just uh, got the lid open. I'll give you a quick tour because we've had a quick nose round. Uh, spoke to Leslie in the office. Uh, she's my personal assistant, and she said that the guy from the heart. Uh, from the uh, state agent said that they thought it'd fail miserably, which it, it has without even getting the meter out. Because obviously we've got all these class one light fittings with no earths. Have a quick look in here, Ebs, and I'll quickly show you. We've taken this off. So you can't buy retrofit uh, uh, fuse boards, but what we normally do with this is put it higher up or put it there and then come through. I forget what they call these skeleton boxes. There is actually a name like Sorel or something like that. I forget what they're called, but look, you can see that's doubled up, isn't it, that one? Where's that one go to then? That's that one five goes down there. I want the outside. Ah, oh, that must be that outside light there, which is an absolute classic, but I think that's, that's uh, yeah, it's gonna be probably that one, isn't it? That's, that's metal. Oh, it's not metal, it's absolute shit. But I think it's the only light that's got an earth. I'll quickly, yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, I'll show you enough right. classic finds what we found as well. He's obviously got that earth there, and you know, which I've shown you. These are the best ones. Look, look at this. Uh, so, this light here, see that light there, which I've just had on, but obviously we've got the power isolated, so otherwise we tear pull that speed to what I'm feeding that light, which is obviously a class one of fluorescent. There's this uh, cooker hood there, see that black cable there? That obviously goes into that socket up there, see that? So that's fed off there. These metal light fit in, those two up there. What on earth does that do? Look, that's got some form of thermal damage, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's the TV here. Uh, TV, this is not a good one and all. It's in here, that they've obviously spurred off the ring there. See where it comes round to a socket. So you can actually spur off a ring, obviously, but you can only do it once, yeah? And uh, it comes to another socket here. And then it, go, well, it does go for a spur, so you could say, and then it goes to that socket there. We, have, we haven't taken this out yet, which we will do. We presume 
that is a what is that going on there look <laughs> yeah we'll have to look for there's gas behind there but must be yeah and we'll quickly show you upstairs they're obviously not very really fire rated they're not coming down that pendant in the living room yeah also also what we have got is because uh, one of the main concerns with no rcd protection is obviously using the sockets outside so the ground floor is always going to fall foul to that up in the bathroom all the circuits unless it's all class two sort of fit is it a serve rcd protection and all that but as you can see that see all this ropey bit of conjure which we presume comes off this circuit here that, that socket there goes through there. It also does a light with a sensor around there. Or well, that's that's what that switch must be for that light. Yeah. Let's see, it's all come apart. You've got all singles there. See that? But the best one is that you've got that socket there. Deep, in the deep dark depths. Yeah. And then it goes off to there, which we're not going to go in there. We're just going to do that as a limitation. You see, you see the conduit between the bit of yeah. two houses? Two houses? Shed. Two houses, mate. Yeah, just show them how ropey that is there, yeah. Also got that. Yeah, so we found something very exciting and all. So what's labelled as cooker is these switches here, which that top, that bottom one actually turns off the, uh, actually turns off the isolator in that cupboard up there. That one where the neon doesn't work. And then the other one turns off these two sockets here. So it's an absolute mess, isn't it? We're gonna have to get that oven out anyway, Ebs, yeah? Yeah, what are you looking for? What? <laughs> oh, them sockets are on it as well. Yeah, it should be. Oh, yeah, it's the only socket on. So one of those is going to be a water softener. See that thing above? That's a, like a water softener sort of thing. Oh, man, it's terrible. Yeah, let's get into it. One of the few things that tell telltale signs that they've never been rewired is that you've got all the light fittings here. And this is the uh, what they used to do with the privacy. Because obviously with the light that close to the window, you'd only see your silhouette. That's the thing that they'd done in the early days. So that's when you know. That's obviously some sort of, we'll have to look where that's fed from. That's probably something like that. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Why has that socket got an extension lead on it? That's probably the extra, so that probably feeds into that one. And then What's that little thing down there? That's that old telephone. Right there. These are a bad sign, because when you see these pull cords in these bedrooms, usually it's that pulled concrete, which is a nightmare to chase. But this house is for sale. It's not to be rented out. Well, it might be rented out, but uh, see someone's done loads of these. There, yeah. That one's okay, but you can see by the top ones that they're... Uh, well, that's horrendous. Metal light fitting in here. Also, that's obviously for this shower that's in there. The immersion on the pipe top. It's absolutely horrendous. That one there, look, you can see the top of it is metallic or class one, whatever you want to call it, in the bathroom. And that's that shower. I love there's even a light fitting in there. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're going to get into it, we're going to test it all and all that. We'll see you on the next test, but we'll give you a little example of what it's like, yeah? But, right, so we're testing enough of units. So this is day two. Uh, Ebsy's got his accessory for his MVQ level three. So uh, I'm just uh, finishing it off myself. So we've tested it. I'll show you a few of the observations. So it has got an RCD supply to it, but as you can see, it's a hundred milliamps. So the sockets, are not protected for additional protection of 30 milliamps so that's obviously an issue a few other things we did notice there that i'll put a picture up if i can find it of that there is a uh, copper showing so that was actually a c1 which has probably been like it for years the uh the conduit's not supported sorry if that's flickering a uh, conduit's not supported what else was there everything else tested out all right this one's quite not too bad obviously obviously some of the twin and a half cabling is not really suit, suitable for the environment but it's that you know that's only going to be an observation a couple of little holes and all that on the bottom and all that sort of stuff no support for the tails 
but yeah not all of them are severe but yeah just a little look into it we're just waiting for ebs to come back and then we're going to move on to the other little unit which has only got a couple of bits in it so i thought i'd show you a little mix it up a little bit little carpenters little unit this one right so this is enough for morning so i'll quickly show you we're doing a test of a six bedroom house and lucky enough it is all really well labeled obviously got the mk uh dual rcd uh consumer unit this is a really big one there's old ebs hello ebsy uh tell them about how your uh how your assessor went yesterday doing well weren't you yeah I don't know what, well, what was he uh, falling apart on it was just your own home it was so funny because they were talking about like uh, was it your one book or something one file yeah one file and it was going and i, I was like oh we saw it all out and then it was like oh it's like getting blood out of stone with your time sheet guys <laughs> but yeah so right back to it so this is the uh fuse board it's actually really it's quite well done isn't it yeah. obviously you've got little holes on the top don't really not too big a deal they're obviously going to be A type, AC type RCDs. Tails aren't supported. Comes through from there. The old uh, MET ain't labelled. But yeah, it's pretty well labelled. And it's, it doesn't look, what do you reckon? This is probably about 20 years old, Ebs. Yeah, Something like that. It's an absolutely beautiful house. This is actually our customer is buying this house. Six beds, six bedder it is, and he's uh, we got test is, and his is a five bed at Great Ashby, but that ain't too bad. Oh, look, it's, it's been like the old, the old plumber's been about, and they look, but yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it looks quite nice. I was dreading it when you get a six bedroom, it could be, it could be the size of it, it could be the size of a town, couldn't it? Ebbs? Yeah. Well, we get into it, and uh, if we see anything good, we're uh. So this is the garage too, isn't it? Hi, hi, cheeky. You can't really see that. Look, look at that bad boy. Gosh. It's all clipped proper though, isn't it? Places. Yeah. What about that one? Is that all in connectors as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a little look. Oh, beautiful. Like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the rest of it's pretty good, isn't it, really? Every time I see them steps, I think that they're mine and I have to check them. I think Corey's got one of the set of mine of those. And the rest of the unit. But hey, it's funny, isn't it? Every time you see something that I just imagine there must be millions, well, thousands of them. That's not too clever, is it? Well, I'll show you something cheeky. Right, so this is the garage. Little number, gosh, yeah. So, we're just a little bit concerned about these down lights whether they're fire rated, what the connections are like. Ebbs is gonna go up in the loft, he's just gonna use that pole to get <laughs> chicken, chicken, little chicken, chicken. We've got some full blown electrical loving. Look at that, look, the old uh, garage doors. Uh, been extended the uh, fridge freezer and they've wedged it on there. <laughs> that's real electric. That's real, real electrics. Boys. Right, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything to be electric, that'll be our blues. You know, I'm off up to uh, Chills this weekend. Bye!